I think I was about four or three years old. And what is it, what is it called? <coughs> um, a, immune disorder. Mm -hmm. But what is the specific name of it? Anifada syndrome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is it? All the germs go straight for my kidneys and I, they're not really able to function well. It makes me go for a lot of pain. What kind? Headaches, um, um, a lot of stomach aches and all that. This is a really rare thing to get. You can't really be born with it. It like activates in you for like whatever reason. I got, I kept getting strep and coughing a lot. And um, if you ever have to get an IV, if you keep like panicking and all that, that'll make it worse. Cause your veins, which they need to find, will hide. And so they'll have to keep searching longer. I'm tough about it because it's been happening to me for years and they treat me really well in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And you start taking what kind of medication? Uh, steroids. And how are those? Not good. <laughs> it's not fun, huh? No, they make me really emotional and I hate it. But we know that once you get better. <coughs> yeah. So you don't have to take pills? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to take three at night and five in the day. But what's important to you about being here? I get to tell my story. And why? So that other kids with lymphatic syndrome know what, I, what I've, that whatever they've been through, I have too, and so doctors can find a way to help them. Sometimes it can really um, annoy me, but I don't let that get in my way. I. I push, it. instead of, sometimes instead of trying to go around it, over it, I go through it, so I know what it's like to have it. It doesn't get in my way, and I just treat it like it's just something that I get sick with, not like it's, a, I, I actually just, I ignore it so much that I sometimes even forget I have it. What do you like to do? I like to play video games. And what else? Um, be with my family. Mm -hmm. What sport are you playing right now? Baseball. So wouldn't you say you live a pretty normal life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks to UMC, we, we understand. We understand what nephrotic syndrome is. We understand how it affects our son. We understand how it affects our future. We understand how to get IVs in him better now. Blood draws, things that we can do to alleviate how hard this can be on him. And I have said it time and time again, we wouldn't be as strong through this process if it hadn't been for UMC. There is nothing that can explain how scared you are and how you would pr pray every hour of every day to just Give it, give it to me. Lord, give it to me. Take it from him. We will take this. And knowing that there's nothing you can do but just sit by his side and keep him strong. And the emotional support, for, I mean, yes, all of the clinical support, that's phenomenal. The emotional support that UMC Children's gave us is also what helped us get through, reassuring us that we were gonna walk home with our child, reassuring us that he was gonna be okay, hugging us when we had we hadn't slept in three days and couldn't hold each other up anymore. They held us up. To have an institution that can not only take care of you clinically, but can help take care of you emotionally is something that you can't even put a value, a monetary value to, to reinsure you and reinforce the fact that your child is going to be okay and you're gonna be able to go home with, with your son. I wanna thank my moms because they never left my side whenever it was starting to affect me and they helped me get across it.